highly recommend that you start doing now if you haven't already done so is prepare yourself a little craft box i have been collecting bits and bobs throughout the entire year from corks to ribbons to laces that will make absolutely lovely decorations for any of my zero waste wrapping and it's always nice to have a couple of options Fabric will also be your best friend when it comes to zero waste wrapping. As you can see, I have a good range here. I have some specifically Christmas themed ones, depending on who I'm gifting to. And I also have some that are more everyday use. And if you can't come across fabric for wrapping, you can also use any kind of shirt or old item of clothing that you are no longer using and maybe might not be quality enough to send to a charity shop. So I will just really quickly show you how I use the fabric square to wrap. So it is a slightly different wrapping process as to how you would wrap a traditional gift just because you're not using any tape. So it involves a lot of rolling and folding and pulling and tugging and general tucking in. But one thing I do find helpful when using fabric is to get your hands on some fabric pins. So instead of using tape, you'll just use these pins to secure the fabric in place while you get your ribbon ready or whatever else you're using to keep your fabric all nice and tucked and closed together. Not only is this more environmentally friendly because we don't use tape, but it saves all that fumbling around trying to find the start of that tape. You know exactly what I'm talking about and you end up ripping the entire roll apart. Well, that's just my experience anyway. <laughs> so it's quite quick and quite easy and you have the benefit of being able to start again if it doesn't work out for you perfectly the first time. So I just measured out a small section of ribbon that I'm going to use to keep my gift in place. But whatever you do, please don't forget to remove those fabric pins or that could be a disaster on Christmas morning. I'm just going to finish off the gift with a pretty bow. I'm sure many of you out there can do bows a lot better than I can, but hey, I think it looks okay. <laughs> I'm then going to grab these little wooden decorations that I found in the art and hobby shop. They are on Stephen's screen if anybody's interested in popping it in. And then I am going to finish off the gift with some natural decoration. So you can see there I have some evergreen pine and I also have some pine cones and the beauty about that is that they are in your garden and when you are finished with them you can compost them and there has been no impact on the earth. I think it looks really really beautiful if I do say so myself. Now we shouldn't forget that it is not just shirts and old flannel that can double as a great zero waste fabric gift wrap. We can also use scars that we've picked up at thrift shops and we can also use knot wraps like this one that I picked up at Lush. And this is a Japanese technique of gift wrapping using cloth called furoshiki and I know I have absolutely butchered that name. So anybody who is familiar with the language, I do apologize. But there are so many different ways to do this and what I love is that every gift is completely unique and what material you wrap your gift in, whether it is a scarf or a knot wrap, can actually double as a secondary gift in itself. My next material is pretty self-explanatory and it is just to find some really nice hard-wearing gift boxes that you can use again and again every single year. I've had these particular boxes for probably about seven years now and I use them to gift to people in my immediate family so that they always stay in our immediate circle and when they're not being used as gift boxes, they're actually used for storage, which is incredibly handy. Pillow boxes are another great reusable option. I really like these because you can actually take them apart and they take up the same amount of space as a piece of cardboard. They're absolutely tiny when they are not built. They're really useful for any awkward shaped items that you might have. They're also super easy to make yourself with a toilet roll holder of all things. Just work with the holder itself. Keep pushing in the ends until they meet in the middle to make that pillow shape. I am sure that you can do 10 times of a better job than what I am doing, but I just pop some ribbon around it to make it look a little bit cute. You could also use any leftover wrapping paper that you have from previous years just to make it look a little bit more special. And that leads me on to tins and biscuit tins. Every single year without fail, my mom will get a box of Scottish shortbreads. I really struggle to say that there. Scottish shortbreads. And not only does that double as an edible gift, but it also works as a really lovely gift wrap idea for the following year. So if you've seen my last video on zero waste Christmas gift ideas, you'll know that one of my top ideas is edible gifts. 
So this is a great way to use up any of those festive or really cute biscuit tins that you have lying around your house and gift in a zero waste container that will look pretty, be reusable to contain those lovely edible gifts that you've taken the trouble to bake. For gift tags, they don't always have to be the type that you can actually write on. So this is literally just a pack of wooden shapes that I got in the art and hobby shop in Dublin on St. Stephen's Green. And I will use these either as tree decorations, I'll use them as gift tags. Really, the options are open to you when it comes to getting creative with these little guys. But I loved that they were wooden, so they are biodegradable. And then you can also go ahead and make your own gift tags out of used cards. It's pretty inevitable that you will get Christmas cards, even if you don't send them you're probably going to receive them so a great way to repurpose those cards is to create your own little diy gift tags pop some string around it pop it onto your gift and you have a lovely handmade gift tag Gift bags are another really great zero waste gift wrapping idea. Now I know some people can be really conflicted on this depending on whether you buy them loose and whether they do have any plastic attached to them. As you can see on these bags, there is a small plastic lip, but I justify it because I have had these bags for years. So if people do gift to you, hang on to them, don't throw them away. And one thing I would say is don't be afraid to go out and purchase bags if you know that your family and you will use them for the foreseeable future. There is nothing wrong with making a zero waste investment, even if it does mean that there is a small amount of packaging associated with that. I think a small bit of realism goes a long, long way on our zero waste journey and making sure that we don't feel green shamed around the Christmas period. If you're thinking that you do want to wrap your presents, brown craft paper is a really great sustainable option. It is slightly stronger than normal brown paper, which makes it ideal for wrapping tape free. As you can see as well, it also has a nice pattern on the outside, but I am going to show you how I create a little bit of a pattern on the outside of my paper, just to add a little bit more of a homemade touch. Again, ribbon or lace or anything that will keep your paper closed will be your best friend when wrapping with this material. But you can see just how strong and durable it is. And it does take a little bit of working. Again, just like with traditional wrapping paper, if you fold in the corners and fold upwards, you can create a really tidy looking gift. And craft paper is recyclable. You can make your craft paper look really pretty by doing your own DIY stamps. You can use an old card that you've cut shapes out of with some eco-friendly, non-toxic paints and of course a vegan paintbrush as well. You can also use a potato and you can also use rubber ink stamps for that final personal touch. And the last thing I'll mention is that if you do happen to buy anything online and you open your boxes and you have paper inside, don't get rid of it. That makes absolutely amazing wrapping for any delicate items that you might have, which you can then pop into a gift bag for that perfect zero waste, eco-friendly gift.